Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. And together, the three of us, we are Marco Ben's Breakfast Club. Good morning, Bulldog. Good morning, Homer. Uh, welcome to Tobacco Advent Day 12. Tobacco Advent is our annual countdown up to Christmas, and we are in our 12th day. <laughs> how that works. <laughs> also means it's December 12th. That's right. That's how, that's how it works Which here. is uh, the 12th day of December. For those of you, hey, I want I want to mention um, in in case you've not watched to the end of these videos here recently, uh, I did mention there that there's an opportunity to win this pipe as well as some swag by posting a video response with your answer to our daily question. What? That video can be posted on Facebook. It can be posted here on YouTube. It can be posted on Instagram. Cool. If you post it on Facebook or Instagram, you got to make sure we find it. I guess either all three methods. Make sure that yeah. we notice it, and you'll be in the drawing for each one of those videos that you post for, uh, like I said, swag and this Cobbit. Cool. So with that... I want one. Why did my phone just ring? I thought uh -huh. I had that set for stun. You should have. Um... Today's tobacco is interesting. We opened up the box on this one, and um, as Boy was reading the letter, I'm looking at this and thinking to myself, Self, I don't think this is tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Want to show it off? So, yeah. Um, let's see if we can get, get up on this. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe we ought to put it into the hand. So some huge leaves as well as some fluffy stuff that doesn't look like tobacco. And uh, I thought, well, I wonder if he was carrying this in his pocket and maybe his pocket was filled with lint. Yeah, it's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of what it looks like. But, but tell me what this is. All right, so Jeremiah Davis sent this to us. Um, and in this tobacco, what was the name of it? Oh, the name is... Sonneteers Blend? Sonneteers Blend. Like a person that would write a sonnet, I guess. Yeah. Um, the blend is a combination of aged cigar leaf, Virginia, Latakia, Black Cavendish, and the greenish herb you see in there. That's called Colt's Foot, which is also known as British Tobacco, and is an old herbal remedy for lung ailment. You can brew it as a tea... Or smoke it straight to help clear and cleanse your lungs. Or, as he's discovered, add it to pipe tobacco. And in addition to burning slowly and making the blend a little bit healthier, it adds a unique earthly sweetness to the blend. Hmm. So is it made of asbestos? I don't know. What is it made of? Colt's foot. Colt's foot. Yeah. So I guess we'll uh, we'll Google this and put a link in the description to what Colt's foot is. But that's not all. Jeremiah, you say? Yeah. Jeremiah went on to say that uh, he had heard us previously, or maybe on, I think it was on my channel, talking about Irvin S. Cobb. That had to be years ago. Um, I did a video about a gentleman named Irvin S. Cobb, who was from the town of Paducah, Kentucky. And boy gets to Paducah every now and again. He's got, uh, I was his there wife has some, has some family there. And we were there together on our way out to Denver one year. And one of the things I wanted to do while we were in town was to stop by some of the Irvin S. Cobb things. I do remember this. Yeah. Do you remember this? Okay, yeah, yeah. so uh, it's, it's, right, it's right along the Missouri River, or is it, what river is it? It's got to be the Missouri. It's the, it's the Ohio. Uh, the it, Ohio. Might be, it might be the, yeah, well, it's where the Ohio meets the Tennessee, I believe. Okay. Yep. Keep going. I think I think it becomes the Missouri uh, River right, right so there in Paducah. It's right there in Paducah, and and uh, I guess they've had a flood before, so it's a big flood wall, a concrete of flood wall, and that flood wall. Sorry, is, the Tennessee in Ohio, and it is the Ohio River. Continues on. Okay. 
this, the flood wall is painted with all kinds of murals. Local artists have done this, and Irvin S. Cobb is one of the stars of the town. There's also a, um, I want to say it's now an apartment, but at one time it was a world-class hotel named the Irvin S. Cobb. I'm not mispronouncing yes. it. It's not Irving. It's Irvin yeah. S. Cobb with two Bs. And uh, Irvin was a humorist, an author, used to write for newspapers, kind of in the vein of, let's say, Samuel Clemens. Okay. And um, also wrote books and was very popular around the turn of the last century. So, yeah, I, I kind of nerded out as we ran around town and saw things. You know, there were all kinds of historical markers uh, to him, and it was sort of, sort of a fun experience for me. You know, we, we were not there for me, and I was happy that <laughs> there was some stuff that I was interested in in that town. He's actually buried there. If I recall, he's buried under a great big giant boulder, and he was a big man. Really? Big man, yeah. They brought that boulder in from somewhere. Huh. Um, but Probably tell us, river. tell us what else was in this package besides a wonderful letter, yeah, from Jeremiah, uh, a book written by Irvin S. Com, speaking of operations. Um, yeah, Jeremiah outlined his experience going to the Paducah Library and finding some books that were there and finding a a Cobb, a Urban S. Cobb Cobb. Uh, so he said the library in Paducah has a collection of all his books and the original manuscript of his autobiography, Exit Laughing. Um, when I asked to see, they very generously allowed me to do so, and guess what I found in the box? His Missouri Mearsham Corn Urban S. Cobb Pipe. <laughs> Even cooler, the manuscript written over 70 years ago still smelled like smoke. Um, wow. And so he sent along one of his books. This particular copy um, is copyrighted 1915, and uh, on the the inside inside cover, Jeremiah signed it and said, first read on Sunday, November 27, 2016, 11 29, 17, passed on to the Mark Woodman's Breakfast Club as a Christmas gift. Very classy. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Jeremiah, thank you so much. That, yeah. That's generous. The tobacco is interesting. You, you blend this yourself. That's cool. And in addition to that, um, he passed on a question mm, as okay. well, which is great. So no paper cut today. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> the, the day is young. Um, so the question was, if you could, I believe it was dead. <laughs> if I could dead? Living, living, living or I'm dead. Not I'm not interesting. I'm, I'm speaking... I'm, I'm jumping ahead for, for a moment. Question is, if you could bring back to life one famous pipe smoker to have as a guest for Christmas, who would you choose and why? Ooh. One famous pipe smoker to have as a guest for Christmas, who would you choose and why? So let's think about some of the names on that list. It feels like a, feels like a pretty short list. No! What are you talking about? Not, I, I... Okay. It... Uh, Ronald Reagan? What I mean is, yes, but what I mean is it's a list of of maybe 10 to 20 people who immediately jump out, who I suspect are would immediately be one of the top 10 to 20 people on, on everybody's list, right? You think Tolkien, you think uh, Mark Twain, you think uh, MacArthur, you think, for me, the clear choice is Popeye. Um... You know, I've not been around for a while. Uh, and, you know, I keep going. Continue with the list, then. I'm done now. <laughs> um, who that, who was that, that, was wrote, that it? Who got wrote the Lord of the Flies? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> C.S. Lewis a pipe smoker? Yes, he was. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking of <laughs> Rusty Ray Barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rusty Ray Barefoot from the uh, the failed commercial for the, the Spanner. Spanner. <laughs> um, <laughs> like like a Jr. J, J, what do they call him? Uh, like a Lord of Flies guy. They are our barefoot. <laughs> Put a link in the description. That's a a commercial done by Rhett and Link, the YouTube personalities of Good Mythical Morning and Rhett and Link. A very funny 
commercial yeah. for a real product. Prostate though it's a, though it's product. A fake commercial. Yeah. And it's a great, great commercial. Yeah. Um, let's see. Now, I'm, I'm done listing because I know who I would have. How long is this person going to be alive and will they start to stink after a while? I think... Uh, well, they're going to stay that. They're going to stay that age forever. <laughs> so, so um, and immortality. But they're still dead. Uh, they're actually not a very good conversationalists. It doesn't, it doesn't say they come back to life. <laughs> oh no! Good. If if you could bring back to life one okay. famous pipe smoker to have as a guest for Christmas, who would you choose? I mean, come on! This uh, immediately. Jesus. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, Mark Twain. Well, no. Mark Twain? Well, of course. It's, right. Mark, no, Mark for Twain. me, it's going to be Samuel Clemens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right. That's before he got a big head. But I want I want Mark Twain. But, but, but think about Sir Walter Raleigh. Uh-huh. What an interesting guy to bring back to help us argue against the uh, the FDA. Yeah. I'm sure they would listen. Because <laughs> they, they have shown themselves to be level-headed. But uh, no question. Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain. A cob smoker, I'd get to get get finally get the answer as to whether he not whether or not he came up with the name Missouri Meerschaum, which I believe he did, mm. um, and just a, an all around interesting guy. I hate to say that, Irvin, but uh, it's got to be Samuel Clemens. Well, he hates to say it because uh, hates to say it because Jeremiah told us his answer and it was the, the same. Um, I, I mean that. I don't feel like Irvin would want to sit down with Mark Twain. Oh, absolutely. No, Samuel Clemens. He's not pretentious. Um, uh, yeah. I. You know, it feels like feels like just an obvious choice, but it feels that way to me because he's someone I, I grew up admiring, um, both um, from a storyteller standpoint. And also just the, the quips and quotes and and everything you know I have in the Rolodex, lots of of Mark Twain quotes. Wouldn't it be funny though if you bring him back to life, only to find out he has the world's mo most annoying voice, mm -hmm. or some really obnoxious tics, you know? Yeah. After everything he says, he says, "Mm-hmm," you know, kind of <laughs> swing, swing blade style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or again. Um, is just mostly decomposed. <laughs> I really enjoy smoking my corn cob. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to stand it for more than a minute. Well, thankfully, I think it's only for Christmas Day and then back to the grave with them. <laughs> so, what about you? Who who would you bring back from the dead for one day Christmas uh, dinner at your house? I, um, if it happens, we will record it, and it will be an episode of Mark Lemon's Breakfast Club. Oh, yeah. First no, thing no, that's happening. No is question. We're getting the camera yeah, out. It's, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, feed, try to feed him some <laughs> vegan bacon. What do you See think? how well that goes over. Yeah, what do you think of this? This? I like this. I like this. It's, uh, it's, a, uh, it's, uh, it's got some flavors that I like. I like the Perique in it. Um, I don't think it's too much, and I, I enjoy a little Perique and cigar and tobacco, leaf. cigar leaf, and the 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 Colts foot, yeah. Colts hoof <laughs> foot is not all right. It's not doing anything weird. You know to what it. I have like to I, do? I have like a, I thought I, thought I have it was a completely weird. unsmoked little miniature pipe. Yeah, I have got to fill it with this Colts foot. Just that. Just that. All right. I mean, there's maybe some residual tobacco leaf stuck to it, but I, I'm not sure that I can discern the taste of this from everything else. Yeah. In here. Yeah, it's, it's in a mix with some, some other strong flavors. Alright, here we go. But I like the I like the blend. Oh, no, yeah, that's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Give it a shot. Do a hit of that, son. Yeah, thanks. I feel like that's what's happening. Yeah. It's clearly not tobacco. No. Right? And it's, it is it is a, a sweeter, earthier. Yeah. 
flavor. That's really interesting. Yeah. Where where do you where does one get that? Colt's foot. Also known as British tobacco. Like I said, we'll be doing some uh, Googling. Yeah. Thanks for passing that along. What an interesting Absolutely. thing to try. And thank you again for the book and um, just the, the excellent note, the story. Um, and go Paducah. Like <laughs> I said, I was just there a couple weeks ago on the riverfront showing a friend who had never never been. And we moved my wife's grandparents home. So won't be won't be visiting too many more times. So probably. Okay, Great for the rest place. of you, answer the question. Do a, vir a virtual uh, video response and um, get entered in our contest. And with that, we'll see you again tomorrow. Make it a great day. See ya.